hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you guys for supporting and being there for me i really love you all please subscribe if you have not done so to support and encourage me to do more today's tutorial is how to make mandelic acid serum stay tuned and keep watching if you want to see how i make this serum The first thing you want to do is to sanitize your work area and wear your gloves. Um, you will need the following equipment to formulate. Make sure all the equipment are clean as well. Scale. Thermometer. pH meter. Stick blender. Pipettes. Watch glass beakers, spoon and stirring rod, empty containers. For this tutorial, I'm making 100 grams of the serum. Here, yeah, let's go ahead and measure out our ingredients. 5% mandelic acid. Mandelic acid is alpha hydroxy acid. It exfoliates dead skin cells. It's antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, boosts collagen production, and lighten up hyperpigmentation. One percent gluconolactone is um, polyhydroxy acid (PHA). It exfoliates, moisturizes. It hydrates, it improves skin tone and texture. It has antioxidant properties good for all skin types. 1% vitamin B5, also called the Pantenol. It hydrates the skin, suits and heals, helps keep skin soft, smooth and healthy. 1% liquor rice extract. It reduces the appearance of dark spots, brightens and even skin tone. It has antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. 0.5% alanchoin powder. It is extracted from the root of some prey plants. It suits and protects the skin. It moisturizes, prevents dryness and irritation. 0.2% hyaluronic acid powder. It hydrates the skin, prevents and reduces the appearance of wrinkles and fine lines, suits and speed up healing process. 1% silly gel. Silly gel is effective gelling and thickening agent. It can emulsify up to 10% oil. It is also a skin feel enhancer. 78.5% distilled water. Distilled water is a solvent. It dissolves impurities on the skin. This is the foundation of this formulation. Do not use tap water, guys. 5% propendiol. Propendiol is a natural alternative to propylene glycol. Excellent solvent for ingredients that are harder to dissolve. It moisturizes, it is emitted. 5% glycerin. Glycerin is humectant. It allows the skin to retain moisture. It can increase hydration, relieve dryness. 2% sodium lactate. Sodium lactate is salt of lactic acid. It hydrates the skin, brightens the skin, maintains a healthy pH level, prevents moisture loss. 1% preservative. Preservatives prolong the shelf life of products. It prevents skincare products from microbial spoilage that will make the product unsafe for customers. Without wasting your time, guys, let's get started. First, add the silly gel into the glycerin. Mix properly and set aside. Next, add the alantoin powder into the distilled water and use double boiling method to dissolve. Mm -hmm. 
when the alantoin powder is fully dissolved add the rest of the powders into the alantoin water solution one after the other and stir add gluconolactone add vitamin b5 the pantenol powder and stir until dissolved add liquor rice powder and stir until dissolved Next, add mandelic acid powder and mix properly until dissolved as well. The next thing you want to add is the hyaluronic acid powder. You can put it in the refrigerator for some hours to hydrate. You can also pre-mix your hyaluronic acid powder with glycerin to avoid lumps. But for this tutorial, I'm going to stick blend until it hydrates. Don't worry about the bubbles, it's going to go away after some time. When the hyaluronic acid is fully hydrated, add the rest of the ingredients. Add propendial. Add sodium lactate. Add preservative. Mix properly. Check and adjust the pH if necessary. The pH should be between 3.5 and 3.7. My pH is 3.6, so I don't need to adjust it. So next thing you want to do is to add the silly gel glycerin mixture. Mix properly and stick blend on a high shear. Like I always say guys, you don't have to use the ingredients I use. The main ingredients in this formulation is mandelic acid. If you don't have gluconolactone, you can use lactic acid. You can use any extract you like. You can use any gel you like. You can use any distilled water you like, but don't use tap water. Stir properly and also stick blend to mix the ingredients properly and then that's all transfer into a clean container i transferred the rest into a clear bottle so you guys can see how it looks playing around with the serum as usual you can see the final result it's really really hydrating and gentle on skin testing the products on my hand it's really really hydrating yeah hope you find this video helpful thanks so much for watching See you soon. Bye.